All right, so we've learned about linear approximations, but linear approximations can only get you sort of so far that we saw that lots of different functions, lots of different functions can have the same linear approximation. So linear approximations are sort of like a good start, but they can't be all that great because lots of functions are going to have the same linear approximation at a point. Um, but we could do better. So let's consider three functions here, like f1 of x is going to be e to the x, and then f2 of x is going to be sine of x plus 1, and then f3 of x is just going to be the function x plus 1. So we want to approximate each of these functions near uh, x is equal to 0. So let's approximate the following functions. near x is equal to 0. So for e to the x and sine of x plus 1 and x plus 1 uh, is graph of x plus 1 and sine of x plus 1 is going to look like this and we know what e the x looks like. It's going to look like this. And so a natural thing to do is to use the tangent line approximations to each of these functions at x is equal to 0. This will be like L1 of x, and this will be L2 of x. And this is going to be, well, L3 of x. And sort of not surprisingly, when you take the tangent line approximation to a line, you should really get the same line. There should be no other line that approximates this line better than itself. Um, to thy own self be true and all that. So let's, you know, check this out. That, um, you know, L1 of x has equation f1 prime at 0 times x minus 0 plus f1 of 0. And the derivative of this function and this function itself are e to the x, and so when you evaluate the, at 0, you both get 1. So this is just 1 times x minus 0 plus 1. So this is just x plus 1. Likewise, for f2 of x, you know, the derivative of this function is going to be cosine of x. Cosine of 0 is 1. So notice that f2 of 0 is sine of 0 plus 1 is 0 plus 1. That's 1. f2 prime of x is cosine x. So f2 prime of 0 is cosine of 0, which is 1. And so L2 of x is going to be um, you know, f2 prime of 0 times x minus 0 plus f2 of 0 is going to be 1 times x minus 0 plus 1. So this is also x plus 1. And thirdly, um, you know, f3 of 0 is 1. f3 prime of 0 is 1. So L3 of x is going to be f3 prime of 0 times x minus 0 plus f3 of 0. And of course you get x plus 1 again. It's really bad if your tangent line to a straight line is not the same straight line. But what this means is if that you want to approximate like e to the 0 0.1 and sine of 0 0.1 plus 1 and also f3 of 0 0.1, each of these is going to have the same approximation at x is equal to 0, even though they're very different functions. That this one's an exponential function, and this is a you know shifted trig function, and this is a linear function. Um, these three approximations are all going to give us the same estimates. And that's very unsatisfying because these functions are very different. So even though these functions are very different,
they have the same tangent line approximation. So we'd like to, you know, find like an approximation that's a little bit better, an approximation that could tell a difference between e to the x and sine of x plus 1 and x plus 1. So that's what we're going to look at next, is how could we approve our approximation to actually tell these three very different functions apart and get better estimates of e to the 0 0.1 and sine of the 0 0.1 and this one which is just 1.1. So we want to find a way to improve our estimates. But we also don't want to have to like actually use the exponential function and actually use sine of x. We want to use easy functions like linear functions, but maybe not quite that easy because linear functions can't tell these apart. But sort of something that's one step more complicated than linear functions would be a quadratic function a polynomial of degree 2 as opposed to a polynomial of degree 1. So we want to use higher degree polynomials.